So we got our hero. I should have, uh, hmm. I should have actually changed the empty face for these um, to be a new button that we make called like equipment and called inventory instead of the empty slot. So you can see that this actually worked properly. Um, I believe this is our weapon spot and this is our armor spot. And then if we click this, we see our two by two bag. So if I pick up the, uh, wow, for some reason this bugged out quite bad. Um, let's see. So if I uh, pick up the Zergling Venom, it should go into this thing here. Yes, it did. But it still says a crappy sword because I forgot to rename that. But you know what I mean. And you can drop it. Good. And let's see if we pawn it. Interesting. It's underpowered. I mean, unpowered. I wonder if that's affecting uh, the pawning. So let's see. Let's pick up the leather armor. And yes, it went into this spot, which is good. And let's pick up the uh, sword, which has a weird name too. Yeah, and now as you can see, our armor is plus three from this thing. And our damage is eight. And without this, we actually have no weapon. So that worked well. And why don't we go attack and see if some loot drops. Yep. Uh, Zergling Venom dropped. Zergling Venom dropped again, which is showing that our probability is working good. And Sword sort of dropped. So now we can pick these up. I can pick a sword up, and now I can see that the sword's sitting here, even if it's not doing anything. It's in our general inventory. And so why don't we figure out the selling thing, and I'll fix some of the buttons off. So I believe the reason that it's not uh, not functioning is because we need a pylon here. Oh, let's place a couple. Just We'll see if that fixes it. Hopefully it will. Um, and let's go back to data and let's make a button. Uh, get rid of the search and let's let's say uh, let's call this equipment. Click suggest. And tooltip will be your equipment. Icon will be browse. I'm just gonna pick an arbitrary one. I think the cloak icon is good, so I'm gonna search for cloak. Uh, no, not that one. There, this one will do. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm just going to use this button for both, but you can make a separate button for your equipment, separate button for your bag, and whatever else. So, uh, uh, I think item containers. I think equipment. No, we don't actually set it in here. I think I actually have to do it from, uh, the invent oops, the inventory ability. Switch to our map here. Our inventory uh, under info here. Yeah, equipment, the empty face is going to have to be changed to, uh, oh, equipment right there. And I'm just going to change this window equipment as well. And that's better. Press OK. And uh, save. I should also fix up my other buttons just so this tutorial's not so shabby. I don't want to leave it in shabby state. And tooltip doesn't matter, but equipment's good. Leather armor. Crap! I thought I set this before. I swear I set this before. A crappy venom. I'm not a huge judger of venom, but I guess this is a crappy one. And let's save and go test this out, and hopefully it's all better. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is powered now, so I'm going to pick up these things. And there we go, we got nice buttons here. And then you can actually see it there too. So I'm going to go sell this. Good, we got 10. It's kind of far away, I should have made it a bit closer. Let's sell our armor too. Good, we got 70, and I don't want to sell my weapon because then I won't be able to attack. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show. We got loot, we got everything here. Um, item buying. You can see Bifu's tutorial about it. I believe he did one. And it basically involves giving the train ability to this building. Um, the train ability is the same way you make marines and stuff like that, except you can use it to make items as well. And then the items will just go into your inventory when you when you buy them. So you'd give, uh, you'd give it the train ability, and then you'd also have to give it the interact ability so that when you come close, it becomes your... Uh, you, I mean, when you come close, you can interact with the building so it's not just neutral. And then you'll see a bunch of like 
like instead of train marine, you'll see buy item if you set it up properly. Uh, Beefy goes over that, so I'm not really going to cover that here. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.